certainly a frigid feel here at Camp Current, but on the 36 acres here, they are centered around the summer all year round because they want things to go from looking like this to looking like this. What will be in play this summer? The effects of the COVID crisis closed so many camps in 2020. And some, like the Girl Scout camps, have already canceled a few local programs for this year. But in Farmington, they are forging ahead. Oh, we're not just thinking, we're planning for summer. So it should be here before we know it, and now is the time to get everything geared up and ready to go. Camp Current, the country's oldest free summer program, had to go virtual last year, but the work has begun to get back in the game. The plan is to bring hundreds of Hartford kids here come June. We need these kids to get back to this camp. Uh, we've heard from parents, we've heard from teachers, we've heard from you name it, everyone saying how much these kids need this camp again. So we're all waiting for the governor's call to see what our expectations are going to be, what the restrictions will be, what capacity will be, and uh, we'll take it from there. From his home base in West Hartford, Steve Boyle, the co-director of Two for One Sports, is planning to run camps not just in Connecticut, but in Colorado and as far away as Vancouver, Canada this summer. You know, a lot of us have learned to not take things for granted. And I think something as simple as summer camp and summer programming is one of those things that people see as a gift and as an opportunity to bring back some level of normalcy, if you will. With no shortage of obstacles ahead of them, camp directors think they can keep the summer safe. And their feeling is playtime has never been more important. We'll mitigate risk the best that we can based on what the science is telling us. Oh, get it go! The demand is clear, but I think it speaks to the fact that we want to get our kids back outside and playing again. Yeah, I mean, just look around. How eerie is it to have this camp empty with no laughter, no children? We can't wait to have all the voices back and have these kids back at camp. In Farmington, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.